So what's up guys, it's JA, and in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at my latest pickup, the Balenciaga Croc Boot 2.0. So yeah, this is a big ass box and it makes sense because this is obviously one of the biggest boots that I've ever owned in my personal collection. So never in a million years would I have imagined actually owning a pair of these right here. Um, very interesting model, gotta say the least. Um, what are your first impressions guys? Um, I know there's gonna be a lot of negative comments about these right here um, included. With the boot you have uh, individual dust bags accompanied by the boots but that's something that i'm familiar with with like you know more high-end designers so here it is you have the balenciaga croc boot i think the most interesting fact about these is you're infusing kind of two different brands from the opposite spectrums of the fashion industry on one side you have croc which is a more affordable brand versus balenciaga your more high-end fashion brand that's kind of known for pushing forward these more kind of radical designs. So I already know it's coming. I can already see y'all in the comments typing away. But J.A., you wear anything Yay wears. <laughs> and um, I, I can't argue against that statement. But nah, in all seriousness, the first time I seen these joints, I was not feeling them at all. Um, even after seeing our guy Ye rocking them, I wasn't sold on them to be 100% honest. But the reason I came gravitated towards this model was after wearing these new futuristic Yeezy models. So I'm talking the insulated boot and I'm talking the knit runner boot. After wearing these newer Yeezy silhouettes, it had me really thirsting for the next cool futuristic looking boot that I could add to my wardrobe so then thus you have the croc boot in my opinion the all black the elevated platform the high upper of this it gives it a unique cool look a different aesthetic something different that i could add to my wardrobe so some of you guys may argue that this is just an overpriced fisherman boot and while i can't argue against it um being is that it is just basically a rubber boot i can't argue against the 695 us dollar retail price point but what i can say is the chunky you know elevated platform sole gives it a cool look like i literally gain a few extra inches rocking these joints and then obviously on the midsole you have the exaggerated croc design and then you have the high upper um with the you know slight balenciaga branding you know right across the front now these do actually feature it seems like an insole you can take out but i'm not going to go ahead and do that right now boots are made in china so in terms of on feet you got a couple ways you can style these you can go the kanye way or the more traditional way to wear these by going ahead and just tucking your pants into the boot just letting them shine let the whole boot show or with the right pants, you can actually let your pants drape over this, you know, really accentuating the chunky sole of this shoe and really letting it shine. Remember, these are extremely wide, so trying to drape these over, you gotta have a very wide pair of pants. So, bottom line in terms of sizing with my experience with balenciaga footwear i did the same thing went down a size so i'm usually a true to size 10 and a half or 11 with these i went with a us size 10 so these are sizing is in french so um i went with a size 43 again that's equivalent to a us size 10 these are very comfortable now are they worth 695 almost 700 dollars us I would say probably not. I mean, alternatively, you could just get a more affordable like pair of fishing boots that have the same look. But as it goes, you know, you're paying for the Balenciaga name. So is it worth 700? Probably not, but I am happy with the purchase, you know, giving me something cool and funky, you know, to switch it up with my wardrobe. Plus they're black, so 
these are gonna get a lot of wear definitely um, they come in a men's and women's version for the men's they also do come in a gray color and a real cool olive green I was kind of torn between the black color and the olive green but then being is that um, I was only able to find the black in my size went ahead and went with the black now um, it appears that these are sold out like everywhere all across retailers so if you are looking to pick up a pair of these um, it looks like the only kind of place to cop these is the aftermarket or if a local shop in your area has these quite possibly so yeah that's gonna wrap up my review of the Balenciaga Croc boot 2.0 let me know what you guys think down below and appreciate each and every one of y'all as always. I'm J.A. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out, y'all. Salute.